Undeniably, SpongeBob SquarePants has become a colossal phenomenon in the world of animation. It's a gift that keeps on giving. If you were a fan as a kid, it's likely that your fascination has only grown with age. So much so that fans worldwide are constantly formulating intriguing theories about the show on the internet. One theory, in particular, stands out for its sheer audacity, the mystery behind the ingredients of Krabby Patties. For those who aren't familiar, SpongeBob SquarePants is a Nickelodeon TV show that follows the underwater escapades of our eponymous hero, SpongeBob, and his friends in the fictitious marine town of Bikini Bottom. If you're not familiar, have you been living under a rock, or perhaps at the bottom of the sea, SpongeBob is such a hit that it's the highest rated series ever on Nickelodeon and has earned the company over $13 billion. With its quirky and often downright strange humor, the show appeals to all age groups and continues to thrive even after two decades, among the cherished characters residing in Bikini Bottom is Mr. Krabs, or Eugene Harold Krabs to his friends and family. Mr. Krabs, a crab, owns the Krusty Krab restaurant where both SpongeBob and Squidward work. Speaking of work, Mr. Krabs has a deep love for money. He can't seem to get enough of it. He does have a daughter named Pearl, but one could argue that he seems to be more fond of his wealth than his own child. This leads us to a fan theory. It's no secret that fans have been curious for a while about what Mr. Krabs' famous Krabby Patty is made of. Given that there are no cows at the bottom of the sea, aside from manatees, who are essentially the ocean's cows, it's not like Krabs is forthcoming about what's in those patties. In fact, one of the longest running storylines revolves around how secretive he is about it. He is constantly trying to keep the recipe under wraps and away from his nemesis, Plankton is sure, this could all be explained away because Krabby Patties are incredibly popular and he doesn't want the competition to get their hands on the recipe. But what if there's something more nefarious at play? Some unsettling theories have emerged in an attempt to explain what the enigmatic patties are made of. One of the most popular and eerie theories out there suggests that the Krabby Patties are actually made of crab. While it may seem like a completely ludicrous thing to happen in a children's TV cartoon, there is a plethora of evidence to support this silence of the crabs theory. First off, Mr. Krabs appears to be the only crab in the ocean. Now, we know that we mostly stick to the Bikini Bottom region during the show, but you'd think that there would at least be a sighting of another crustacean down there. And yet, there are hardly any, especially in Bikini Bottom.so, where are all these other crabs? Is it possible that the scheming Mr. Krabs has a long-standing, covertly sinister plan that involves catching and serving crab to all of his loyal patrons in a seriously deranged attempt to get rich? Well, just take a look at the shape of the crusty crab. Now, look at a picture of a crab trap. Do you see any similarities between the two, but wait, you say, Mr. Krabs actually does have a mother in Bikini Bottom who also happens to be a crab. True, the fans say. But maybe if Mr. Krabs is actually a secret cannibalistic crab who cooks and eats other crabs, it isn't out of the realm of possibility that he is also pulling a total Norman Bates slash Mrs. Doubtfire situation and impersonating his own mother to maintain appearances. There's even a possibility that he used his own mother in one of his patties. Maybe she was even his first. Yes, this is getting pretty dark. Let's move on now, there is some debate about this theory online because of a recent recipe that was leaked by Nickelodeon for Krabby Patties, probably in an effort to dispel the rumors about one of their most popular characters being a fiendish monster who would turn on his own kind to turn a profit. But that's beside the point, and we have an investigation to conduct.so, at the bottom of the totally normal list of ingredients that include things like sea tomato, sea lettuce, and thyme, is listed one pound of imitation crab meat. For some, this was enough to believe that there was nothing untoward going on whatsoever. They thought to themselves, well, maybe this is why Krabby Patties are so popular. Not because of their delicious Krabby flavor, but because nothing tastes better than the comfortable knowledge that you're not consuming your friends for dinner. Case closed, but some SpongeBob fans weren't quite so easily swayed. With the culinary prowess of Julia Child mastering the art of French cuisine, they dug even deeper, only to find out some pretty interesting stuff about imitation crab. Commonly used in sushi rolls, imitation crab isn't made of crab, that's for sure. But it is made of fish, ground up white fish protein, to be exact, just dyed a reddish hue in order to resemble crab meat. So, even if the residents of Bikini Bottom aren't eating members of Mr. Krab's family, they might actually be eating some of their own. Which, if it's not worse, is still not great. And while we're on the topic, why is it acceptable in the first place that he has been selling burgers that are supposed to taste like crab? Isn't that like having a fast food restaurant that specializes in serving an imitation human burger that gives you all that real human experience without all the fuss of having to quit your job and become a full-time Hannibal Lecter? None of that is cool, my dudes. There's even video evidence that Mr. Krabs is up to some weird stuff, and he says it out loud. 
He actually looks down at a Krabby Patty and says that he and it are two of a kind. And what he says after taking a bite might just be the most unsettling moment of them all. So that's what I taste like. He said it. He just came right out and admitted it, right there and then. Right there. Did you see that? Right there. Come on, Mr. Krabs, what have you done, sorry to ruin your childhoods here, but if it makes you feel any better, this theory is ruining ours right along with you. And we're not even done yet. Something, hang on to your pants, whatever shape they might be. There's also the issue of the other mysterious substance listed in the ingredients for the secret Krabby Patty formula, and the theory around this one will really knock your barnacles off. In looking at the recipe for Krabby Patties, fans became very curious about one particular ingredient. Along with everything else that we're familiar with, including the above-mentioned imitation crab debacle, the recipe also calls for a pinch of King Neptune's Poseidon powder now, Poseidon powder could just be some special spice blend that Mr. Crab has renamed in order to keep it a secret from Plankton, and he almost had us with that one. But one fan has dug up the real truth, and boy, is it more than we could ever have expected. With a couple of clicky boos, it has been discovered that Poseidon powder is actually another name for cocaine, yeah, that's right. Mr. Krabs has been secretly sprinkling a little bit of cocaine in all of his burgers, which explains exactly why the citizens of Bikini Bottom can't seem to get enough of them, nor do they really care what they're made of. They are literally addicted to Krabby Patties, and Mr. Krabs is making out like a bandit. The crab actually showers himself in money, and while McDonald's has proven that it is possible to get that kind of moolah from slinging burgers alone, the Krusty Krab is not a worldwide chain. It's one small restaurant in one tiny town in the middle of the massive ocean, well, he may have done good enough business by just making some really good burgers. We all know how Mr. Krabs feels about making money. Do you think he would settle for good enough, or would he find some way to make sure that the demand for his burgers was always at an all-time high? Walter White could learn a thing or two from our friend Mr. Krabs, fans of this theory feel it explains the entire show in a much clearer light. Mr. Krabs is essentially the Pablo Escobar of Bikini Bottom, running the entire operation from the top. He has all the characteristics of a kingpin, at least based off of those that we've seen on TV. He's secretive, calculating, and all about that money, and he's willing to sacrifice the people below him in order to grow his business. But he can't do it alone, which is where SpongeBob and Squidward come in. SpongeBob could totally be Mr. Krabs' number one guy, his right hand man. He loves the product, perhaps a little too much, and is enthusiastic about getting others hooked. He also clearly has the temperament of someone who's been dipping into his own supply a little bit, or a lot. With his high energy and never-ending appetite for Krabby Patties, SpongeBob is always very keen on getting in good with Mr. Krabs, so he'll do just about anything his boss might ask, poor Squidward is the guy who has been in the game too long and would just love to leave the life behind but just can't break free of it. Maybe he knows too much, so Krabs won't let him go, or maybe Squidward is also too dependent on those Krabby Patties in order to walk away. We've definitely seen him binge on them more than once, so it seems like he's too tied up in the whole thing to start a new life, this theory can even explain the episode in which Miss Gristlepuss banned Krabby Patties entirely. When she found out that they started selling them out of his house in order to meet the demand, she literally called in a police raid with a SWAT team. Yet, the second that she tastes a Krabby Patty for herself, boom, she changes her mind and can't stop raving about them, seriously, is this an episode of Spongebob Squarepants or the third Sicario movie? So, where does Benicio del Toro fit into all of this? We know he's hiding around here somewhere. Come out, Benicio, the jig is up. Actually, wait, we saw the first two movies. It's okay, you do your thing. We just won't bother you, but even for a small shop owner, Mr. Krabs can't possibly do this alone, and he doesn't. Just take a look at the season 7 episode, Cracked Crabs. One of the rare glimpses at other crabs in the ocean showcases how big this Krabby Patty cannibalistic ring can get. These other crabs are just as cheap as Mr. Krabs and even form their secret group known as the Penny Pinchers. There's a lot more than meets the eye in this suspicious group, likely luring other crabs in for meat and transferring some of that beautiful Poseidon powder between each other. One of the crabs, White T. Wad, is even a grocery store manager and likely a meat supplier for the Krusty Krab. If you believe that all of this evidence is real, it's almost impossible to deny that there is something else going on behind the scenes in Bikini Bottom. Now, maybe it's all just one or two big misunderstandings, but the fans of these cartoons are seriously impressive detectives and always make sure that their research is terrifyingly thorough. So, what do you think? Is there more to the story than meets the eye? Or is it all just a bit too much? Let us know in the comments, and we hope you had fun watching and remember, sometimes things are more than what they seem, just like the most dedicated Spongebob fans out there. Keep your eyes peeled. Is anybody else hungry?
you could totally go for some imitation crab right about now. Oh man, this theory just about changes everything. What did you think of it? Do you agree with the fans that there is much more going on than meets the eye, or do you think it's all just a bit too much? Let us know in the comments, and we hope you had fun watching.